take a few seconds look at the image first from bottom to top that's the flow from the bottom to the top and when you read the content on the right hand side you read the content from top to bottom okay let me explain these are approximately i have categorized these seven layers of our expressions these are the seven layers from where any human beings expressions come from i have not found anybody else anybody you know in my circle i have met thousands of people in last couple of years i have not found even a single human being whose expression come from a different space out of this so this is like a map of our expression we need to identify where are we on this map let me explain this map to you if you look at the bottom of the image there's a box the box has written me 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 three ways yeah so this is the first layer of our existence or the first layer of our expression the layer the the smallest me is the layer of our fears and our insecurities most of our decisions most of our expressions come from this layer of fear and insecurity the the basic layer of our expression then the view of this me starts to expand a little when the view of this me expands a little then our expression starts to come from we start to identify with people and object earlier it was from the space of fear and insecurity now the me expands itself starts to identify with people and object and then the expression starts to come from the greed and attachment then the me gets even a little more bigger now when the me gets little more bigger the expression starts to come from let's say sense of pride now most of the expression in this space starts to come from this sense of pride and sometime also from the sense of jealousy while i'm talking about this i recommend you to start keep take a mental note of it look at small examples from your own life and see where are our expressions maybe smallest example of any expression out of these three spheres that i talked about the spheres i call it the sphere of me where is it coming from i want to uh, let's say uh, in a in a in a project competition i want to win a certain project and i am meeting that that let's a client of mine or i'm coaching somebody and i want to now impress this person and all my talks all my things uh, is it coming from the space of fear that i must win this client some kind of an insecurity or when i'm coaching somebody is it coming from any space of of greed or attachment of anything is it coming from any sense of pride that i'm really proud that i've got such a big client i'm really with this pride i'm also jealous that you know my co competitor has got even a better or a bigger client these are all the things that play on on our mind most of the time and if our expression is coming from this layer i call it i call it the boxed expression it cannot be flowering it cannot be fully authentic expression that is the reason in the image now we go back the box is closed it's a boxed expression usually in my observation for working with people this layer of expression usually doesn't bring any joy or fulfillment it could bring momentary happiness 
of let's say winning a client or delivering a good session etc momentary its impact is also pretty low on the recipient and there is no lasting joy or you know openness here satisfaction so to say that aha i've i've done a good job you know you tell yourself i've done a good job then this me so 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 this box layer is basically field of our fears our insecurities our greeds our identifications our superiority complexes or our inferiority complexes our past conditionings that we've gathered from life so much impressions that we've gathered on ourselves so this is the box layer coming from there yeah then somehow somehow this box opens up huh? look at the image again somehow the box of this limited me opens up i'm calling now this when the box is open there's an expression of love and compassion in this now me liberates itself now most of the expression most of our expression at this stage starts to come from a source of love and compassion within us suddenly the impact of our work changes suddenly our our connection with people around starts to change suddenly our view of our work starts to change suddenly instead of being pressured about the work there is a certain joy in the work looking forwardness to the work because this limited box is now opened up so there are some people who operate from this level of expression whose expression usually come from this layer these are the people who become let's say very famous bosses very famous leaders very very sought after mentors yeah very impactful coaches this is the layer usually then this me goes a step further after being stable at this love and compassion layer there is a certain strength there is a certain trust this me starts to build in trust in existence now the me is even getting wider now there is a certain trust in this entire existential phenomena so to say and when there is a deep trust in things around in people in general you start to operate from this trust layer there is a sense of abundance now there is no sense of lack all your thoughts all your decisions all your actions all your expressions now at this layer do not come from any sense of lack as if there is a certain burden released from you the expression starts to become really flowered really beautiful really it's like now a life changing not just for the person who's expressing but the person who's receiving the expression if you again look at the image on the left screen there's a upward spiral here this is the upper upward spiral of our consciousness which which gaurav mentioned from let's say from shunya to expansion now we are entering into this expansion phenomena because the box of shunya is opened up so to say now we enter into the next layer of of our expansion now at this layer so once we are established at the layer of sense of abundance suddenly or maybe gradually for some people sudden for some people gradual the larger vision start to descend on us now the the expression though i'm using the word here me on the slide but now the expression is somehow shifting between me to us zone now there is a larger vision now is the time when the the purpose of my existence starts to come to me 
now the expansion or or the expression is becoming even more wider even more broader even more depthful i would say because now one is able to see in a way i would say even the impact of one's action beforehand impact of one's action beforehand one is able to really see and perceive that so the whole process of our expression is now becoming extremely conscious extremely in control and now the impact of each expression is far more wider so with each opening the impact and the reach of expression is also widening now the depth of is also deepening then we enter into the next layer hmm? let's call it the final layer of our expansive expression now in this layer one would start to operate from the sense of collective intelligence so earlier you were seeing the larger vision for your own actions for your own for your own for your own expressions now in a way it's like one starts to become a conduit and the natural gifts that's been given to us they start to flow to their optimum optimum level now now somehow the person starts to access the cosmic intelligence or the collective intelligence now here at this moment it's very interesting especially from the from the uh what i've studied is the indian wisdom side now in this layer even silence becomes a deep deeply impactful expression that starts to happen at this layer that even if somebody is silent as an expression the impact of that silence would also be much more profound and deeper this is really where the impact of a human being's existence starts to flower fully at at this final layer so as people on the path as you know coaches as as trainers and as learners ourselves i thought this could be an interesting map for all of us a map for self analysis because we we talking about exploring the source of our expression when i know the source of my expression i can work with it if i'm only looking at the expression as an outer action and if i try to work with the outer action as an expression without fixing or knowing the source of it then my my effort is happening at the cosmetic layer do you see that it's like i'm trying to fix my behavior or my my expressive behavior let's say without really going deep into a self analytical process to see where is my current expression coming from which layer of my existence is activated and i've seen this over and over again most of most of the people we we do not investigate this source we try to fix the the outcome so to say the the outer layer of our expressive act our ex, our expressive behavior the source is not touched and if the source is not touched i call it a cosmetic changes on the outer sphere but there is no evolution then happening in the real interior space maybe the box is still closed then maybe it remains closed maybe that that boundless joy of our work or the impact of our work that we want to experience we miss that maybe i'm saying mm-hmm.